Hail and well met, greetings, salutations, felicitations, and all those other warm, wonderful welcomes that is so customary and proper for us to give one another. My name is Michael, and this is the very first video of my new channel, Bag and Brewer. And I'm a beginning brewer. In fact, I was going to name this channel Beginning Brewer, but I landed on Bag and Brewer for several reasons. First of all, I'm a fan of J.R.R. Tolkien and Middle Earth, have been my entire lifetime. And I actually see myself as being a hobbit. Uh, that's who I most identify with in his writings. Uh, and I want to brew like a hobbit. I want to eat like a hobbit. Uh, I want to experience uh, things... Uh, Beowulf, right? Uh, the, that epic poem uh, in Old English. And I, I want to uh, experience the things of the wizarding world of Harry Potter, you know, the fantastic foods and drink at Hogwarts or uh, at the Weasley's home. Um, these are all things that, that are important to me and things that I like and that, uh, that I want to incorporate into this channel. So not only... Uh, brewing, but every good hobbit wants to eat food with their drink, right? Everybody, uh, when, if you're in the mead hall of King Hrothgar, you are going to eat as you are partaking of your mead or whatever drink is served. Um, and so that's really the direction of this channel. But I mentioned that I'm a beginning brewer, I've never brewed a thing in my life. I've always wanted to. Uh, it, 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 all the way back to just getting out of high school when friends would start uh, experimenting with, uh, with home brews and, and things like that. I've always wanted to do it. Never had the nerve to try because there is so much science and art involved in brewing that, um, well, I will always consider myself a, a beginning brewer. I think if I was brewing for 20 years, I would still say, I'm a beginning brewer. There's always gonna be somebody out there that has more knowledge uh, of the science, the chemistry, and the art of brewing, and I don't want to put myself in a position where I say, come and ask me anything, because I'm an expert. No, I'm a beginning brewer. Uh, and, and I also, going back to um, the Shire, Middle Earth, uh, Beowulf, uh, even the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, um, I really want to tap into the ancient art uh, of brewing. Uh, it's been around for thousands and thousands of years, and it began as an art. Later on, it developed into a science. I want to touch, uh, uh, reach in and, and experience the art of it. And so therefore, I want to keep my brewing methods simple, as simple as possible. That means whatever hobbits in the Shire would brew with their food, I want to brew along those lines. Whatever King Hrothgar in his mead hall, uh, Heorot, right? That's what I want to brew. This has been quite a, a journey for me. I have been watching YouTube videos for years now on people brewing, and it's just now to where I've gotten the nerve up where it's like, I, I'm going to I'm gonna give, uh, you know, try my hand at it. Uh, and so I wanna mention a few YouTube videos that are a great influence on me and they are really my favorite YouTube channels. First and foremost is CraigTube. And I hope I can put a link up to his channel right up here. Um, Craig Faraway is a Canadian and I love Canadians. I, I think everybody should have a Canadian. He's just a really, really cool guy laid back, he's in my same general uh, age group, and he's just a guy that I would love to visit his brew dungeon, as he calls it, and try some of his homebrew and just talk with him. He's a musician, you know, I'm a musician, uh, and uh, he likes a lot of the same types of things that I like. He's had a lot of the same types of life experiences that I have, and so I love watching his channel, all the videos that he puts back. He's so laid back and just so cool. And, and his videos are really more like vlogs. 
you get to know Craig. And uh, check out his channel if you haven't. I'd be surprised if you haven't seen him. Another one is a newer channel, but they are cranking out videos like crazy. And that's called City Steading. And that is uh, a, a husband and wife, Brian and Derica. And they're just brewing up all kinds of things. And they are making all kinds of food and stuff. So hopefully I'll have a link up here. Uh, for their channel, you'll love them. You'll just love their channel. Uh, they're making meads, hydromels, uh, uh, ciders, um, sweet wines, uh, groot, uh, ginger beer, all kinds of things, as well as the food that they cook up on their channel. So you want to definitely check them out. The third channel is called Townsend. And again, hopefully there will be a link right up here to him. He, this man is, uh, I don't know exactly what the term is, but it's like living history. He loves 18th century American uh, cuisine and drink. And uh, he does a lot of videos on how they lived, uh, you know, raising barns, building dugout canoes. But he's, he also does uh, videos on, on brewing. Uh, how they would do that in their home back in the 18th century. He does his videos all in 18th century garb. Uh, he actually owns a, a store, uh, James Townsend and Son, and so you can buy uh, pottery and cookery and clothing and all the things that they had back in the 18th century, which I find fascinating. So moving this along forward uh, a little bit quicker here, uh, I want to show you my beginning brewer's equipment. You can see the smiley face right here, right? That means I got all this from Amazon, and I'll put links down in the description below. I actually received all of this stuff probably about a month ago, but again, I'm nervous to start this brewing stuff. Some people say it's easy. It's as easy as falling off of a truck. Other people say, you know, no, there's all kinds of science involved and things. And so I'm a little bit nervous about this, but I'm gonna unbox this. Well, it's already open. I've already unboxed it, to tell you the truth. But I'm gonna show you what I got. Also, I'm going to do small batches. I'm gonna do gallon um, brews, uh, because I just don't have the room to, to uh, if I brew a five gallon bucket, you're gonna have, what, 45 or 50 bottles. I don't have anywhere to put that. My Second refrigerator died last year, so I'm stuck with one refrigerator. So we're gonna do one gallon uh, brews. Anyway, first off, here is my uh, uh, my graduated cylinder for my hydrometer, and I can't open this up. So let's see here. I actually got, this is the second one. The first one came smashed. And I blame uh, the United States Postal Service for that. There's that uh, graduated cylinder. It's a big one, what, 250 milliliters? Because that is what uh, was recommended by the maker of the um, hydrometer that I got. And that's not uh, anywhere close yet, so we'll get to that in just a moment. Second one is a brewing wand. You know what, let me grab my scissors. Cut this bad boy open nicely. A little bit, just enough to slip this out. Brewing wand for bottling, which I will be bottling. I don't have a keg. I don't have anywhere to put a keg. So you all know how these work. Put them in the, uh, in the bottle and it has a valve on here so that when you press down, it'll let the, uh, the liquid flow, let up, and it'll stop. Or at least it's supposed to. Uh, bubble wrap, which is fun. All right, here is the uh, auto siphon clamp. I don't need to open that up uh, because we have an auto siphon in here somewhere, but it's not anywhere uh, near the top, so we'll get to that. Next, star sand for sanitization. We're gonna have to make sure that we sanitize everything that we're going to use in the brewing process. Auto siphon hose. Which is nice because our wand here is supposed to fit into that. Let me, and I haven't tested this stuff out. And yes, it will. Okay, so there we go. That's good. I don't know how many feet of tubing that is. I got a couple of extra airlocks and uh, and bungs 
And I'll show you what that's for in a little bit. Here we go, here's our auto siphon. Go ahead and open this up. Auto siphon is a pretty uh, simple concept. Put this into your wart or uh, what have you. Give it a couple of pumps, hook the, the tubing on this side and it will siphon. Y'all know what that is. I'm gonna assume that everybody that's watching this video is a brewer. I'm hoping that there are other beginning brewers out there that are gonna join me on this journey. Here we go. Our hydrometer comes in this nice little package. Hydrometer so that we can test our original gravity and our final gravity. This is the way that you, from my understanding, the way that you determine when your uh, when your uh, fermentation is done and uh, what uh, type of ABV you can expect. Next up, more bubble wrap. And here's another airlock and a bung that goes with A one gallon carboy. This will sit on there. And we have another airlock and bung. So that's four. That's a total of four. And last, we have a second one gallon carboy. Well, why do I have these two extra airlocks and bungs? Because I also have, whoa, stepped on bubble wrap there, two half gallon growlers that I will be able to use on these. So those extras. I don't know if I'm gonna use them. I, I, I have a feeling that I'm going to. But this is my beginning brewer kit. Oh, one last thing, but I forgot to take it out of the refrigerator. Be right back. I need this, my yeast, brewer's yeast. This is uh, SO4. Uh, some people really like this stuff. Other people don't like it. Uh, I got this because it's a uh, it's an ale yeast, and I'm not planning on doing any higher uh, ABV uh, brews at the beginning. Um, in fact, I'm going to start off with a cider. Oh, one more thing. Uh, two of these containers. Okay. One I'm gonna use to fill up with, uh, with the water and add my star sand in order to be uh, um, sanitizing all of my equipment as I'm using it, as I'm brewing. Uh, and then uh, I'm gonna use both of these in order to store as much of this stuff as I can. I don't know if everything's gonna fit. Here we, looks like it might though. Here's the tricky one. That, brew, that uh, bottling wand is the longest. I think I'm gonna... I think I'll be able to fit everything in these in order to store it. So there you go, my beginning brewer's kit. I'll line these all up and uh, get a video shot of that so that you can see it all uh, nicely lined up and uh, all that good stuff. Uh, as I said, I'm planning, my first brew is going to be a, uh, a cider, a hard apple cider, which I forgot to show you that as well. I do love video editing. Now, they're not a sponsor, nor am I advocating or promoting this brand because I haven't tried it yet. But this is Sam's Choice, uh, fresh pressed 100% apple juice with added vitamin C. The main thing about this and from watching videos and reading the forums and everything is I need to make sure that there are no preservatives in this. Vitamin C is fine, but uh, any of the uh, anything else 
and that will kill your yeast. But I'll talk about that more on the next video where we brew up some hard apple cider. After the apple cider, I plan on doing a mead or more specifically a hydromel, which my understanding is that a hydromel is just a lower ABV, so you know, five, six, seven, eight percent. Uh, and that's uh, that's what I'm going to go for. I want something that uh, that the uh, the Vikings or uh, those folks in Beowulf or in the Shire would would drink as a sessionable drink. I don't want to just have one glass and be done with it. Because the one thing about uh, about beer and uh, um, cider and things like that is that I like to drink it. You know, not necessarily for the effect. That's just an added benefit. But I like to drink it. I love the taste of a good hard cider. I love the taste of a fantastic beer. Uh, and so I want to be able to have, you know, at least a few without, uh, <laughs> without any adverse effects. So that's it. That is uh, That brings us to the end of this video. This is just an introductory video. Uh, next time we will do a, a brew here. And what I'm hoping with this channel is that I can meet uh, other beginning brewers or people that uh, like to brew in a more primitive uh, um, fashion. You know, I don't want to use any of the chemicals in my brews. I want to keep, like I said, I want to keep it along the lines of what they would drink in the Shire. Uh, and that's the most important thing about uh, about this channel and about my journey as a beginning brewer. Second is that I want to be a part of the brewing community um, because it's just a fantastic uh, experience. When I go on to the forums, and I'll talk more about that on a, on a later episode, uh, the people that they, they love, there's a passion for brewing and coming up with all these fantastic flavors and experiences. So I hope that you join me on this journey. Subscribe to the channel below. If you click the bell icon, uh, then you'll be notified by YouTube every time that I uh, upload a brand new video. So thank you for watching and come along on the journey with me and I'll talk to you next time here on Bag and Brewer.